Hello everyone and welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. Today we finally get to have some fun as we explore the use of titles. I strongly encourage each of you to just open up Power Director and drag down any title to the timeline. Then start to experiment around trying out every combination and option that you'll see in this video in the following ones. You're going to discover so many things that you can do, so go ahead and try everything out. You know you want to. Let's start out by looking at the empty canvas of PowerDirector. The first thing you must know before you start to use titles is the concept of video track priority as used within PowerDirector. And the rule is simple. Tracks with the bigger numbers further down have priority over tracks with lower numbers toward the top. Let's quickly show exactly how that works. Drag Skateboard01 down to the timeline and place it on track 1. Drag Mountain Biker down to the timeline and place it on track 2, directly under the skateboard video. Click and drag the timeline a little to the right in order to zoom in on the action. Now, notice there are two distinct video clips set up to play at the same time. What will happen if we hit play? Which one will play? Or will they both show on the screen at the same time? You notice only the video on track 2 was displayed because it has priority over track 1. You may have also noticed that this Priority concept only applies to video. The audio from both tracks were played at the same time. Now, select the mountain biker video and delete it. Open the title room and drag the default title with a black background down to track 2 at the beginning. Click on the end line of the title and drag it to the right until it matches the duration of the skateboard video. Watch what happens. I'm going to hit play and watch what happens. You see, you see the entire skateboard video and the text from the title displayed as an overlay. The black background that you see on the title by itself in power is power director's way of indicating that it has a transparent background thus the only thing that was visible when you hit play was the text on top of the skateboard video let's change things up click on the skateboard video and drag it down to track three now let's hit play This time, you don't see any of the text from the title. Do you know why? Remember what I just said about track priority. This time, the video of the skateboard on track 3 had priority over whatever was displayed on tracks 1 or 2, and the video did not have any transparent backgrounds. Keep this in mind, because at some time in the future, you will probably make a mistake, just like I have, and wonder why certain video elements on your timeline are not showing up in the output of the video. Now let's get to the fun and interesting part. Move the skateboard video back up to track 1. Let's change the duration of the title back to 5 seconds. Let's edit the title by either double clicking it or right clicking on it and selecting edit in title designer. Or we can just hit the F2 button on the keyboard. Another window opens and at the top we see Title Designer and then the name of the title that is currently loaded. Click on the Advanced button just below. We are now going to mess around with the most commonly changed items in a title. The actual text and the font face and the font size. Notice the words My Title appear extremely large so let's change those to something smaller. Click once on the text box to place the cursor in it. Hit Control A to select all. Then go over to the font paragraph item on the left and change the size 
from the default 48 to something like 26. You can use either the drop down arrows or manually type in a size. But what if you don't like the plain vanilla looking white text? It's possible to click on the white color button on the left side and then choose any other color from the color chart. Or there is another method. Right above the font paragraph setting on the left is another setting called character presets. Click on that line to open it up if it is not already open. PowerDirector has supplied you with a number of pre-designed fonts and colors. If we are going to use this title as an overlay on the skateboard video, let's choose a color that will stand out and not get lost in the background. I'm going to choose the very last one, or you can select any to your liking. Make sure that you have the entire text box selected before selecting one of the character presets to make sure the choice will apply to all of the text. Now let's pretend that this title will be the opening title of our skateboard movie. So let's change the text and give a name for the young lady, a date, and a location. I'm going to type in Mary Contrary and hit return. September 20th, 2023 and hit return. And finally, Venice, California. Now that we've added more text, let's center the entire text box. Just below the bottom right corner of the preview screen are two gadgets. The first one is to align objects. Click on that and select horizontal center. Notice the entire text box is now centered sideways. Next, click back on the same align objects button. This time, select vertical center. Our entire text box is now completely centered on the screen. We are ready to leave the title designer and go back into PowerDirector. Look at the bottom right of the title designer window. There is a save as button, but what that does is to create another entry in your resources of titles using the exact text and fonts that you just created. You might want to do this, but it's not really necessary in this case because all we've done so far is to make some minor changes to the default title. If you want to exit the title designer and use your modified default title in PowerDirector, then what you want to do is hit OK. Now, back in PowerDirector, notice your title has changed to how you just modified it. Move the playhead to the zero position and hit play and watch the preview window. Now, that is how a beginning title overlay should appear. Phew, that's enough for now. There's a lot more magic that's available when dealing with something that you thought was so simple as just a title, so stay tuned for more. I hope I've gotten your interest so far. There's a lot more coming up to help you unlock the features of PowerDirector. Hit the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.